Now, let's go back and think about, think about a firm, let's call them a monopolist, but I don't want to, this is not being limited to people we'd normally call monopolists. But think about a firm that faces some kind of downward sloping demand curve. There's a downward sloping demand for its product. It calculates the marginal revenue curve. We learned in class. It then has marginal cost. And I'll just for simplicity just make marginal cost constant. Doesn't matter. Marginal cost is constant. They, everybody says, well, profit maximizing price is here. Here's the quantity Q star. Here's the profit maximizing price P star. That's the monopoly equilibrium. Okay? Everybody understands that, right? All right. Now, what does the monopolist indifference curve look like in this space? What do his indifference curves look like? Think about it. He's maximizing subject to what constraint in this problem. He's maximizing subject to being somewhere on the demand curve, right? That's what the monopolist is. He can't be outside the demand curve because this is the linear pricing problem. He's maximizing subject to being on the demand curve. So his indifference curve is actually tangent to the demand curve, right? His indifference curve, the monopolist has an indifference curve that's tangent to the demand curve. He wants to maximize profits. They're equal profits along that curve. All right, exactly. Because again, this is his optimal quantity given he can choose any point on the demand curve, right? Because that's the monopoly problem. The monopoly problem is I choose the price I want or the quantity I want subject to whatever price and whatever one I choose, I got to be on the demand curve. So he's, you know, what is he like? He wants to be. He likes a higher price, so better indifference curves for him are up. Okay? All right. So now, so now I got the consumer's indifference curve, and I got the monopolist indifference curve. And so there's this region out here, right? What, what is that region? How would you characterize that region? It's above the monopolist indifference curve, and it's below the consumer's indifference curve. And they're, yeah, there's gains from trade in that region. They're both better off, right? They would both prefer to get out here somewhere. Call that point A. They would bo both prefer point A to this monopoly equilibrium, right? They both would like to be at A. Now, this is why I'm saying, you see what I'm saying? The left-hand side doesn't really matter. The monopolist, he wants to go that way. They want to go that way, so I don't care what the left. Monopolist, don't, he don't want to go back this way, so it doesn't matter. This is the part that's, this is where all the action is out here. Because that's where there are mutual gains from trade. Now, well, how would you characterize a point like point A? What are the important properties of point A relative to P star, Q star? Describe for me the key features of point A. Well, point A, call this PA and QA. PA, QA. What would you say is important? How would you say economically important about point A? There's several important points. First off, PA is less than P star, right? Right? That's all the points that look out there always have that property. They always involve a lower price than this monopoly price. What else? QA is bigger than Q star. That is, they involve more quantity. Okay? What else? 
is actually a very important feature, which is QA is bigger than quantity demanded at PA. That is, the consumer is off his demand curve. Right? He's buying more than he would want to buy at that price. Right? But do you see that? That is, so if we can figure out a way to get that consumer off his demand curve, both him and the monopolist could be better off. Right? And in fact, if you think about it, for the reasons we talked about before, the consumer is pretty willing to get pushed off his demand curve. And the monopolist is pretty willing to cut his price. Because the monopolist is indifferent to a little bit lower price, even along the demand curve. And the consumer is indifferent to a little bit higher quality, quantity, sorry, even at the same price. They're going to try. 